I would never treat you like him, and I was so nice to you, but you like to get by American boys. God damn. All right, today we're going to be taking a look at the subreddits r slash nice guys and r slash nice girls. Those spoiler alert, these are some horrible people. I'm Krusty Robot. Let's get started. All right, let's get this first one started. Yeah, you were pretty before, but now even when prettier. Oh, thank you. When are you coming back? To India? Yeah, I'm not sure. Soon, I hope. I should come back. I miss you. Did you read my letter to you in your yearbook? This just got a little bit of creepy. From 2019? This just got a lot creepy. Yeah. I, I'm still going back to 2019. That is how many years ago? Five years ago? God damn. I did. So you know how I feel. Felt. Bro, are you being for real? I have a boyfriend. Bro. I just I just don't get this guy's logic. Because like, this is such a Hail Mary if I've ever seen one. Like, I'm going to keep it a buck with you. Like, this... This guy's end game is like, it's, it is terrible. It is not good. Like, I don't get what he's trying to do. Like, I have a boyfriend and I had a girlfriend that you cheated on. This guy's just getting better and better. With you though, I really loved you, blank. I love you too now. Oh, my brother in Christ, you need help, my man. A nickname that my family calls me that I somehow figured out. This guy, this guy is trouble. This guy is trouble. I don't know why I'm continuing this conversation, but just to be clear, I did not know that you had a girlfriend. You told me you were single and then you loved me so much. And then two days later, you told me you had a girlfriend and you were with me to make her jealous. We broke up then and there and I fucking don't even count you. Don't ever call me blank. You look so cute, angry. Bro, what the hell? Did you just blow him from stupid town, my man? Because you just really do not understand how to interact with people. You just, she just laid down the law here and you just went, nah, I'm not going to, I'm not going to listen to that. I'm just going to go with what I want to say. WTF, my thoughts exactly. I should give me a chance. You, I miss you so much. You are sucks. What is going on in your head, my man? I don't, I like, I'm schizophrenic. I know how delusions work. I think you may be a little bit delusional, my man. Let's see where this goes. It goes into crazy land. It goes into no reply central because he just keeps on sending a bunch of random messages. I'm not even going to read them because they're so creepy and I don't want people to clip in and like have my voice saying it because like it's just super annoying and I'm paranoid like that. Well, we're not just doing nice guys today. We're doing nice girls as well. Let's get right into r slash nice girls. Well, I best let you wind down nearly bedtime for young ladies who want an early night and men who need to wake up early. I thought this was nice girls, man. What is this Reddit mod behavior? It was a total pleasure to meet you. Meet. You're the type of man I've been looking for, and I look forward to meeting you in person. Your words have meant a lot with the difficult time I've been having lately. You're a true gentleman. Time for my beauty sleep. LOL. Ha ha. Thank you. You're so kind and sweet. I'm so sorry that people have hurt you. Oh, wow. You're going to make me cry. You're so sweet. Good morning. Hope you had a good night's sleep. After looking after sick kids all day, I reckon that's almost a guarantee. I find that message quite sarcastic and a bit rude. Rest assured, it was neither. I don't get why this guy talks like the Reddit mod of the century. I don't get it. I don't get why he talks like Reddit mod the movie. I just, I don't get people. Maybe I just don't have people skills, but I don't get how people talk nowadays. We had to get a doctor out for my little nephew who couldn't stop vomiting. My poor little nephew. It was heartbreaking to watch. I didn't get home until 10 p.m. My sister-in-law now has it and has been up all night. Poor little tyke, frowny face. Yeah, I felt useless. Now, there's nothing you can do in those situations. You did the only thing you could do. Yes. Okay, so this is, he, even though he's kind of talking just like a little bit annoying, like with the rest assured and like all that good stuff, he's talking normally. So I don't know how this is going to like turn into a bad conversation, but I'm sure it is. I'm all right. Just totally exhausted. Yeah, that makes sense. Get some rest if you can. I'm in bed, winky face. That can be taken in so many different ways. I'm just, I'm just going to say it like that is not the way, that's not the time to be putting a winky face. If like, if you're talking to a dude, because they're not going to take that the right way. I'm just going to flat out say it. They're going to take that the wrong way. And then it looks like he took it the correct way because he says, lucky you smiley face. I'm suffering at work. So we know this guy's at least 30 because if this was a guy in his twenties, he was not going to take that in the correct way. And then it goes, sorry, ha, huh, no, nah, it's cool, but I'm looking forward to chilling tonight. It's been a long week. Okay, why are you being so abrupt to me? My lady, he is not being abrupt with you. You are being abrupt with him. I'm not trying to be like, point the blame on you and it's like try to turn, spin the tables or turn the tables or whatever it's called. But like, you're the one being abrupt. And then he says, I don't think I am. Where have I been abrupt? It's not my fault you have to work. I hate when people do this because it's not like you're saying like, it's your fault I'm at work. It's just like, I'm just trying to tell you my problems. I'm just trying to tell you what the problem is. I'm not expecting an answer or a fix. I'm just saying, 
This is the problem. You deserve to be spoken to with respect and dignity. If you disagree with that, that's your problem, not mine. Where did he say that? Where are you coming with it? Where are you coming up with this? Yeah, that's cool. I fail to see where I've been abrupt, where I've given you anything but respect and decency. All I can see is you attacking me and being a right... <laughs> God damn, he is saying the C word. Um, I know why guys don't want to meet you, and I know why they leave. You have to settle the F down. I do not deserve to be spoken like that. Goodbye. Goodbye. So they're both kind of the jerk in that situation, not gonna lie, like he didn't have to call her a C word and she didn't have to like kind of flip on him like that. So I'm gonna admit that they're both kind of annoying right there. But that's all I got for today's video. If you liked what you saw, make sure to subscribe and thank you for watching. Until next time, see you later.